Eating disorders are a deadly, deadly yeah. disease. Yeah, and, and you know, another, another point in behavioral health, um, as Dr. Dow and Dr. Leidecker, I'm sure, would agree, is that a lot of people don't know where to start. They don't know where to get help. And it seems like it's almost easy to kind of keep it a secret, right? Yeah. You know, Dr. Dow, you know, so glad you're here. We know, what do you recommend to people like Anthony? Because this, this is the important point. This is the, what do I do if I need formal treatment? Who do I call? What, what, what do I even do? Who do I look for? What is it, you know, what do you recommend for someone like Anthony who's going through this, who wants some kind of help? Where do they start? I think a lot of people have this misconception that, oh, if I tell somebody I have an eating disorder, it's going to be all or nothing. I'm either going to have to go stay in a hospital for a year, or maybe I should just keep it a secret because I'm scared of that. No, there are so many different levels of care. Just like people who misuse alcohol, not all of them need to go to inpatient rehab. So start somewhere, outpatient. Talk to one therapist. If you tell somebody, remember, you are as sick as your secret, so that in and of itself is a great first step. Sure. And, and Dr. Dow, can you break down for us and explain why cognitive behavioral therapy is probably the best treatment for recovery? I know you, you, you use a lot of this in your practice. I do every single day. So CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy, we have the C, the cognitions that can fuel eating disorders. I think in anorexia, and bulimia tends to be a lot of polarized thinking. So if I'm not a complete success, I'm a complete failure. We also see a lot of control. I can't control these things in my life, so I'm gonna control my calories, my food intake. So we can actually start to change the thoughts. Remember, for each and every one of us, the organ that is most important is right here between your ears, it's your brain. Every decision to eat or not eat comes from there, that brain. So the thoughts are really important, but then also, the behavioral, right? The B in CBT. So a lot of times we can create behavioral experiments. So I, I wonder what would happen in somebody's life if they actually addressed their discontent, uh, you know, feeling stuck in their career. What happens if I started to actually place my control onto that? Is that gonna actually change the way I feel? So when you partner with a mental health professional, you can start to change the thoughts, the feelings, and the behaviors, so you can see it's sort of this very integrative and whole person-centered approach. Good stuff. So, Anthony, thank you so much for sharing today. We appreciate you uh, giving us your personal story, and we want to offer you extra support. Our of executive course. producer, Jay McGraw, he owns telemedicine company Doctors on Demand. They're offering you 10 therapy sessions. How's that sound, Anthony? I love that. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. I'm overwhelmed. Thank you. Well, we are so glad that we can offer that to you. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much, Dr. Dow. We'll see you soon. And Dr. Lidecker, thank you so much My for pleasure. joining thank us you. today. Thank you for your input.